Hi friends, after learning this method, you'll be able to do three by two multiplication only in five to six seconds. But if you did not watch our video of two by two multiplication, please, please kindly watch that first because that will be a prerequisite. All right, guys. So at first, we will try to go slow and understand the process. So whenever you're doing three by two multiplication at first, I'll be making four spot here. Now, how to fill the first spot and the last spot is very, very easy. So if I wanna fill, by, fill my first spot, I'll be looking at the first number here and the first number here, and then I'll be multiplying them. So one times two is two. So that's my first number. To get my last number here, I'll be looking at the last number here and last number here, and I'll multiply them. So one times three is three. So that is my number here. Now, to get the other middle two numbers, we were doing the process. Let us say, if I wanna figure out my second number here. For that, I'm going to consider my first two numbers here, and these two numbers, and I'll be doing my inside, inside, outside, outside method. So here in first two number, which is one and two, and here 23, two and two. So inside, inside, and one and three, which is outside, outside. So two, two is a four, plus one, three is a three. And four plus three is going to be seven. So my number here is going to be seven. To get my third number, I'm going to consider last two digit here and this two digit. And then I'll be doing my inside, inside, outside, outside method. So one times two is going to be two plus two times three is going to be six. So two plus six is eight. And I'm done, guys. 2,783 is my answer. Isn't this cool? Yeah? We'll do next question, guys. Let us say if it is 213 multiplied by 21. At first, I'll be making my four spot. I'll try to figure out my first number here. For that, I'll be considering first number here and first number here. And I'll multiply them. So two times two is four, so this number is four. Now I'll be trying to figuring out my last number. For that, I'll consider my last number here, last number here, three times one is three, so that is going to be my three. To figure out this second number, I'll be considering the first two number here, and these two number, and then I'll be doing my inside, inside, outside outside method so one times two is going to be two plus two times one is two two plus two is four so that number is going to be four to get my third number right here i'll be considering my last two numbers here and these two numbers and then i'll be doing my inside inside outside outside method so three two is a six plus one one is a one so six plus one is going to be seven. So 4,473 is my answer. This question is going to be a little bit more challenging guys, like 242 multiplied by 32. So we'll try to adapt our method a bit. So at first I'll be doing the same thing. I'll be making four spots. But here I wanna start in a backward direction guys. So I wanna figure out my last number first. So for that, I'll be considering my last number here, last number here, I'll multiply them. So two, two is a four, so I'll put on my four here. Then I'll try to figure out this number here. So for that number, I'll consider my last two numbers and these two numbers, and then I'll do my inside, inside, outside, outside method. So two, three is a six, plus four, two is a eight, 
6 plus 8 is going to be 14. I cannot put down my two digit here. So only the last digit four, I'm going to put down here. And this number one will go as a carry here. Now, I will try to figure out this number here. For that, I'll be considering my first two number here and these two numbers. And I'll be doing inside, inside, outside, outside. So four, threes are 12 plus two times two is four, 12 plus four is 16. So I'm getting 16, but I must not forget this K. 16 plus one is 17. So that is going to be seven. And there'll be a one carry here because I can't write down the two numbers here. Only seven here, one as a carry. Now I've got to figure out only my first number. For that, I can just consider my first number here and my first number here. So two times three is six. And then I've got one carry. Six plus one is seven. So seven here. So 7,744 is my final answer, guys. Now, if you can do like one more question, which is going to be a little interesting. Now we know the way as well. So let us say, if you know, do this question, we can do again, one, two, three, and four spots. We'll be going from the backward, guys. Let's say I want to figure out this one first. So I can look at the last number here, last number here. Three times one is three, so that is three. Quite easy now, isn't it? Now I want to figure out my second one. So I'll be considering these two numbers and these two numbers. Inside, inside, outside, outside. Six threes are 18 plus five ones are five. 18 plus five is going to be 23, but I cannot put down double digit here. So I'm going to put on only three here and two will go here as a carry. Then I'll try to figure out my second number here. For that, I'll be doing my first two number here and these two number, and then inside, inside, outside, outside, five, six are 30 plus one, one's are one, so that is going to be 31 plus these two carry. So 31 plus two is 33. So I'm going to put on three here and then three as a carry. And now to get my last number here, I've got to just consider my first number here, which is one and first number here, which is six. So one times six is six plus three, which is nine. So 9,333 is my answer. Let us say this this very big question if you want to do it. If you can really handle this question, guys, you can do any three by two question without any problem by using this method. Again, I'll be making my four spots, but again, I'll be starting from the right hand side. So fourth place and then third, second and first. So to get my last spot filled, I'll be considering last number here, last number here. Seven fives are 35, but I can put on only five here and three will go as a carry there. To get my next number, which is number three there, I'm going to consider my two numbers here and two numbers here. I'll do inside, inside, outside, outside method. Seven eights are 56 plus Three fives are 15. So 56 plus 15. If it is a 55, and if I add 15, it's going to be 70. One more, so 71. And then there is a three more, so 74. So I'm getting 74. But I can't put on my 74. So I'll put on four here and seven as a carry. Now to get my next number here, I'll be considering my first two number here and this two number. And then I can do my inside, inside, outside, outside. Three eights are 24 plus four fives are 20. 24 plus 20 is going to be 44. 44 and then I got a seven carry. So 44 plus seven is going to be 51. So one here and five K. Now the first number is going to be First number here, first number here, four and eight. 
that's what I'm going to multiply. So 4 8 are 32, 32 plus 5, which is 37. So 37 here. So 37,145 is my final answer. Guys, if you practice few questions like that, you can do this kind of a question pretty much in like five to six seconds, which is amazing, isn't it? And then you can impress your friends, family, and teacher, guys. All right? So if you learn the math step-by-step, step, maths can be hard. Thank you, guys.